Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. Hey, if this is your first visit, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. I've been wandering around, checking out places where you can take your RV and other public recreation areas. Mainly state parks, national parks, historical, Texas Historical Commission, I love those. But today, I find myself at Sheldon Lake State Park. This is a little bit of a different, this is a different state park from any others that I've been to. Uh, and I actually met a subscriber when I rolled in and I really appreciate the information that he gave me. He works here. And so he kind of gave me the rundown on, on what's going on with Sheldon Lake State Park. At one time in the past, this was a fish hatchery and a wildlife management area. And so there are a number of ponds and basically this is now a, a, a wetlands restoration area. So right now, as the sign says, you are here, which is right over here. So we're gonna go hop on Little Red and we're going to explore these trails. Now, apparently these are all scooter friendly. So we'll, we'll, we'll be the judge of that. There's a couple of different places outside the park that we'll be driving to. And best of all, we might get to see an alligator while we're here. So let's hop on Little Red and go see some stuff. Hop on Little Red and go see Sheldon Lake State Park. So here at Sheldon Lake State Park, they have a pollinator garden and some native pollinator habitats. Look how pretty that is. Oh man. All right, we're gonna, let's go see some more stuff. There are a couple of places in Sheldon Lake State Park where you can fish. And I believe this is one of them. And, and as with all Texas state parks, no fishing license is required within the boundaries of the park. Man, isn't that just gorgeous? Fantastic, all right. Let's go see some more stuff. Just in time. We saw an alligator. How cool is that? I'm just following the trails here. This is actually such a beautiful place. Once, once I've got down here next to the water, the temperature um, feels like it's gone down some. It, it's July, the end of July, 2021. Uh, and it's been hot and humid everywhere I've been for the last week but it's actually rather pleasant down here. Sheldon Lake State Park. All right, let's go see some more stuff.
several covered pavilions where you can just sit on a bench and relax. And listen to the airplanes fly overhead. We're not, we're not too far from the airport. We just came this way. So I think we're gonna go back this way. Yep. And then then we'll go do that one. So let's go see some more stuff. Of spider webs. So the restrooms here at Sheldon Lake State Park are standalone business, standalone, standalone buildings for his and her enjoyment. And the sink to wash your hands is right here. It's an outdoor washing station. Actually, I don't know what that is, but it looks like a sink. Now, the two, the two ponds here at the I can't talk over the horn, so let's go see some more stuff. <laughs> There are two ponds for fishing here at Sheldon Lake, and they're both catch and release here. Now, there's catch and keep out on the highway, and we'll come to that in a little while. That's an ADA accessible ramp. I'm not sure what that's all about. Did maybe at one point they do some swimming? Uh, or maybe that's for alligators. I don't know. It looks like for cleaning fish. Let's go see some more stuff. So this uh, Sheldon Lake State Park is actually a wetlands recreation or reclamation wetlands recreation rec easy for me to say wetlands reclamation project. So what we're where we are right now this was once a pond and now that the water has been drained out of it you can see how the forest is reclaiming. We're headed the wrong direction. We need to, need to be going back the other way because there's something really cool coming up. So let's go see some more cool stuff.
Howdy. How you doing? I'd be doing better if an elevator was working. <laughs> yes, you would. Was there anything good out here? Well, there's a really good breeze. Man, ain't that the... And you I can, love that. You can see really far, in, but there's haze blocking most of the points of interest where they have signs. Well, we saw a buck deer the other day right there in that little opening. Really? And he stayed there the whole time we went out, just a little bit of horns like that. He stayed right there by that little trail. Or I guess it was that little trail. And he wasn't worried about nothing. Well, so far, the only thing I've seen of interest is a little alligator. A deer was we... he up in that tank in the first one? Uh, it was the bridge platform on that second yeah. or third. About this big? Yeah, he's about that big. Was he born out here, or did they bring him out here and dump him when they confiscated him from somewhere? I have no idea. My sister-in-law. She saw him. Yes, ma'am. Instead of right, we'll, we'll still have to loop around because that boardwalk trail goes all the way around through the marsh, marshy land out there. Oops, dropped my map. All right, let's let's go. Ex let's continue following the boardwalk. I'm not sure what this structure is used for. I know they're using it for rainwater catchment. And that's what that sign right there is for. And I thought this was kind of different. We've got these two solar arrays 
that are mostly blocked by trees. And if they're on trackers, which I think they are, they don't seem to be tracking the sun anymore. All right. Well, let's, let's go see some more stuff. Couple more things we gotta see. Man, is it hot! We've been exploring Sheldon Lake State Park. And as you're going in, heading into towards Sheldon Lake State Park, you'll go across a bridge and then there's a big parking lot. That's actually part of Sheldon Lake State Park. It's actually a public access fishing area in the boundaries of the state park. So in the boundaries of the state park, you don't have to have a fishing license. So if you're down here near Sheldon Lake State Park, you want to do some fishing and you don't want to buy a license, here you go. Oh, be advised. Don't feed the alligators. All right, a couple more things to see. Sheldon Lake State Park. This is actually Sheldon Reservoir, and this is the public boat ramp, which is part of the state park system. We are in the boundaries of the state park. It's open sunrise to sunset. No wake idle speed only now on google maps if you're looking at the maps there's a, actually an observation point on the dam and we can see it here but that's way too far for me to walk and there's not any way i can get little red past the barricades so we're stymied. Although this side is open and it looks like somebody has driven down there. But I'm not gonna go off-roading in Little Red. So that brings us to the end of our visit to Sheldon Lake State Park. Interesting place. It, it's, it's very unique. It's unlike any Texas State Park that I've been to. I would encourage you if you're in the area to come pay a visit just because it, it's such a fascinating little place. Uh, the reclamation that they're doing and, and the, the trails that you can hike on, it, it's just a, it's a cool place. But if you can't make it, well then you can just rewatch this video over and over and over oh, and, and catch the virtual tour coming up. That, that's going to be fun. That was a high-speed scooter run. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure appreciate you stopping by if you're still with me at this point. Thank you so much. I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. That's why I'm here. It's just for you. That's cool. Thank you. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?